So if you have a straight line or you have your beam, we're gonna work on that today. So either get a beam or get a straight line with some tape or just use your imagination, okay? And we're gonna be on our straight line. If you have some stuffies or anything that you can use pillows to step over, little things to make landmarks, you can do that. We'll need those in just a minute. Okay, let's see if everybody's ready. We're gonna wait on Miss Clara. Is everybody doing okay? Give me thumbs up if you're good. I got thumbs up. All righty, here we go. Now we're gonna start at the very end of our beam. We're gonna do this on ground day if you gotta be super tall. I want high gymnastics arms, fingers reaching to the sky, up on your tippy toes, and you're gonna walk one foot, little bitty steps. And walk, 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 little tiny steps, up on high, right away on your toes, as tall as you can be. When you get to the end, turn around and go back, all the way back. Walk, 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 walk. Good job, and turn around, and shake your arms out. That was awesome. Okay, let's do that one more time, guys. You ready? This time, take your hands and put them on your hips. Okay? You're going to be up super tall, grow from me on your toes, and walk on your tippy toes. Little bitty walks. Good job. Now we're going to change it up. When you get to the end, we're going to walk backwards. Don't turn around. See if you can walk backwards. On your toes, try to stay on that straight line. Good job. When you're done, shake your legs out. We're going to do that one more time. Okay, you ready? Hands on your hips. Grow super tall and walk on your tippy toes. Good job, keep going. Keep your chin up. Tight body, nothing moves. And walk backwards. All the way back. Stay on your line. Good job. And freeze. All right, now I want you to find something that you can balance on your head. I'm going to use a teddy bear. So find something. Let's see when everybody has something to balance. Because what we're going to do is we're going to on our line with a teddy bear or whatever it is you have on your head. So I want to see what everybody has. Clara, what do you have? What are you going to use? Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, Millie, what are you going to use? Oh, gosh, that looks hard. <laughs> okay. Um, Kinsley, you got something? All righty. Let's get to the end of our beam. Put it on top of your head. You don't have to be on your tippy toes if you don't want to. Just see if you can walk and don't let it fall off. And hold it. Good job. <laughs> if you want to, you can turn around or you can just try to walk backwards again. Don't let it fall. Don't let it fall off. Good job. All right, let's do that. One more time, you ready? Here we go. Put it on your head. All right, get it nice and balanced. Here we go, and walk. And walk. Don't let it fall off. If it falls off, start over. You have to hold your chin really high. Good job. That was awesome. Okay. We're going to make it a little harder this time. So now we're going to walk sideways. I don't know if we can do that. Okay, we're going to walk sideways. Millie, do you have a question? All right, hang on. Let me unmute you. Yes, what, baby? I have to go get something else because this is slippery. Oh, <laughs> okay, we'll wait on you. <laughs> okay, one minute. Okay. All right, we're going to wait on Nellie, and when she comes back, we'll try it again. While we're waiting, if you want to walk sideways, you can. Let's do that. So put your, put your bear or your friend on your head and go sideways. Go 
sideways. This one's hard. You can't look where you're going. Just, well, maybe you could look without it falling. What do you think? And go backwards. Go back down your row. Go all the way down. Ooh, my almost fell off. Keep going. Keep going. Good job. All right, I'm going to try this one. This one's hard. See if you can do it. You're going to go backwards. Whoa. Can you walk backwards with it still on your head? Not running into anything? Well, I almost made it too far, didn't I? <laughs> All right, I think Nellie's back. I think she's got something. All righty. So let's try this one more time since Nellie's ready to join us. Do your favorite walk with your bear or whatever you have on your head. You can walk forwards and sideways and backwards. Are we ready? Walk any way you want your favorite way. If you want to make it really hard, you can go up on your tippy toes and be so tall. You can be so tall. Try that. And turn around and go back the other way and walk. Good job. You guys are awesome. Okay. So let's put our stuffies away for just a minute and now we're gonna hop. I want you to hop like bunnies down your beam or your straight line, okay? You ready? So we're gonna put our hands back on our hips. Remember we put one foot slightly in front of the other one. And we go jump and try to stay on your straight line. Don't go off your line. Stay on it. Hop, don't fall off. And hop, good job. And let's turn around. And we're gonna go back down on our straight line. Ready? Hop, and hop, and hop, and hop. Good job, and turn around. That was fantastic, okay. So now, if you're on a beam, you're gonna do this on and off your beam. If you're on a straight line, you stay on and off your straight line. So our feet are together. Kinda of like hopscotch. I'm gonna hit the pig. You're going to jump out, together, out, together. If you have a beam, jump on and off your beam, off and on. If not, you're on a straight line, stay on your straight line, and off. Good job. And then we're going to go back and do it again. Ready? One more time. Here we go. Stand on your line. Hands on your hips. Here we go. Ready? And jump out together. Out, try to stay on your line together. Out together. Out together. Good job. Awesome. All right. Last thing that we're going to do today with this get your stuffies back. Actually, I'm going to use a different brand. I have a unicorn. Here's my little. Blue and pink unicorn, and he says, hello. All right, so get your stuffies back. Mine's kind of big. You're gonna walk, and you're gonna pick up your leg and pass him underneath. Pick up your leg, there you go. Under and out, under and out. Trying to stay on that straight line. Out, under, out. Good job, let's do that one more time. Ready? Here we go. And under, out. Under, out. Under, out. Under, out. Under, passing. If you can't get, try to balance on that one leg. And under. Good job. Awesome. That was fantastic. Oh, I'll hear <laughs> I lost my glasses. All right, guys. Everybody doing okay? Are you good? Give me thumbs up. Larry, okay, good job. Millie, okay? Kinsley, okay? Love it. Okay. So now we're going to move on to our floor skills. So the first thing I want you to do is I want you to show me your push-up position. So I'm going to come over here and show you what we're looking for. So you're going to get on your floor, set your hands in front, and your feet out. Oh, you can't see my body because of the lunar. I don't want your booties up in the air like this, okay? We want them flat. 
Blue Blur. Hmm. Hey, you're gonna walk. <laughs> Try to hold your bottom down and see how far you can walk. Try that. Keep your bottoms down. And you wanna be up on your feet. Oh, Kinsley, get your bottom down. You look like a frog. <laughs> Try again. So body's flat, bottom's down. There you go, Millie, good. Try to have a straight body. Hips down, and let's try it one more time, Millie. Go again. Ready? Good job. That's much better, ladies. Awesome. All righty, so now you're gonna lay down on your backs. Good job, Millie's done, awesome. Good job, Claire. Okay, so we're gonna lay down, and we're gonna do what we call a hollow body. So let me show you what that is. And you're gonna hold it, okay? So you lay on your back, and your arms are over your head, and you just pull up just like this. Arms by your ears, squeeze your legs, and go back down. We're going to go up and hold for five seconds. You go up, hold, one, two, three, four, five, and come down. Do it again, you ready? Hold, one, two, three, four. Five, and come down. Keep your arms by your ears. So let your hands do this. Okay? Keep them by your ears. Let's try it. One more time. Ready? Arms by your ears. Here we go. Up. One, two, three, four, five. Woo. And come down. That was awesome. Good job, girls. All right. So that was our hollow body shape. We wanna have that really tight body when we're doing gymnastics all the time. All right, so now let's move to our lunge, all right? Let's do a really good strong lunge with your good foot in front, okay? And I'll turn sideways. If you have a sofa, actually I think this might be a good thing to do or against a wall. We're not gonna go to the floor first, okay? I've got my cushions covered over here. Because my friend Leonard likes to get on my couch. Makes me not happy. All right. So I'm going to put my right foot in front. Bend my knee. And my arms go here. Do you see my angle? This is my lunge. This is not a lunge. Okay? So take your body forward. Just like this. Now I'm going to push my back foot. And I'm going to go forward. And look, I'm going to hold. And come on. Okay, if you feel really strong, when you push, straighten your leg. And come back. All right, you ready? Here we go, on three. One, two, three. Straight and hold. Good, and come back to that one. One more time, ready? Here we go, one, two, three. Straight and hold. Good job, and come in. Whoa, that was hard. Take your legs out. All right. We're going to do the other leg, okay? So I did my right leg. Now I'm going to do my left leg, okay? All right, good. This is our lunge. We're going to go to the floor with it in just a minute, okay? Here we go. Feet together. Put your left foot in front now. Bend your knee. Arms go up and you're in a lunge shape. So I have an angle from my toes and my fingertips, okay? So I'm leaning, you ready? We're gonna push, one, two, three. Push and straight. And come on. Good job, let's do it again. You ready to get that good strong lunge? Tight tummy, here we go. One, two, three, push. Straight your knees. And come up, good, one more time. Here we go, I know this is hard, guys. Here we go, one, two, three, push, and hold. And come up, good job, watch, shake your legs out, shake your arms out, okay. So we did that really nice push work. Now, we're gonna take it to the floor, okay? So our arms are gonna stay by our ears, just like they did when we went forward. They have to stay there. So now we're gonna reach to the floor, and the arms have to stay, okay? So, let's do back a little. You're in your lunge. I'm gonna go over to the floor. 
Push. Pop. And come down. Okay? Let's try that. You ready? Lunge. Push. Over to the floor. Jump. And come. Good. Let's do that again. You ready? See my arms? They stay where I got my ears. Push. Over. Finish. Okay? What I know some of you do is this. Here. Here. You leave your arms here. And you come up. And we don't want to do that. Okay? Do it one more time. You ready? Stay in that lunge. Lift. Here we go. Arms stay right by your ears. Push. Jump. And come up. Good job. All right. That was fantastic. Now we have to do it all the other leg. Ready? All right. Change legs. Here we go. Arms up. You're going to push. And keep your arms by your ears. Jump. And come up. Good. Let's do it again. You ready? Arms up. Here we go. Over. And come up. Last time. You ready? Here we go. Arms up. Jump. And come up. Good job. So those were our really good strong handstands. Okay. Now, that was really good. Good job, guys. Okay. So now I want you to, let's see. Nellie, do you have a place where you can put your feet on the wall and go up to spider handstand? Let's see if everybody can find a place to do a spider handstand. So walk your feet up the wall. There you go. You can use that. Yeah. So walk your feet up. Try to get your hands as close to the wall as you can. Get your bellies on the wall if you can. And hold. Squeeze those legs. Nice and tight. Go up, Miss Clara. Up, up, up. Good. You're waiting on Clara. Kinsley, squeeze your legs together, silly. Push, push, push. Good. Clear up and come down. All right. Then do it again. Ready? Do it again. Go upside down. Hands on the floor. Reach up. And squeeze those legs together. Oh, somebody fell down. Try it again. Stay there. Hurry, hurry. Go back up. You ready? Up, up, up. Get those toes up in the air and hold it. Squeeze and hold. There you go. Good job. And come down. Well, that was hard. Shake your arms out. Very nice. That was great work. Okay. So now let's see if you can find a soft place. I want to see your log rolls. Okay. So we're talking about tight body today. So we're going to lay down on the floor. Straight legs. Point your feet. Lay down, arms over your head, squeeze everything and roll, and try to stay in that hollow body when you come over. Belly, when you get to your back, do the hollow body, okay? So you want to roll, squeeze everything, roll to your tummy, roll to your back, and lift and hold. Feet up. When you roll on your backs, your feet should come up just a little bit. Keep rolling. Good job. So on your backs, your toes and your hands are up in that hollow body shape. Go to your belly and you're flat. On your back, you're in that hollow body shape. Good job. Keep working. Let's try that one more time, please. Try it again. You ready? Everybody lay down on your backs. Arms by your ears. Roll. Find that hollow body shape. Keep your legs together. Squeeze those feet. Don't let your feet come apart. And straight legs. Squeeze arms over your head. Don't let them move. Keep your arms right here. We're talking about this a lot today, aren't we? With our arms here in our lunge. They're here in our lever. They're here in our handstand. Good job. All righty. Let's move on to our forward rolls, okay? If you need some cushions, you can use cushions. If you don't, that's awesome. Whatever you need to use. I'm on a hard floor, so I'm going to use my cushion so I don't hurt my back, okay? So put your cushion down. We want to keep our feet together. Arms up. 
Again, squeezing. We always start in this high gymnastics arms position, okay? Remember that. We always start right here. We're going to squat down. You ready? Squat. You're going to tuck your chin, and you're going to roll, and we're going to stay in this tuck position. You ready? And Ms. Shannon can't stand up. I want you to stand up and finish. All right, I'll show you that one more time. You ready? Squeeze your feet. Squeeze your arms. We're going to squat down. You're going to tuck your chin and try to smell your belly button. And whoa, I did it! Woo, I did it! Awesome. <laughs> I know I'm silly. All right, let's try it one more time. Ready? Feet together. Arms up. And if you use those tummy muscles, you can stand up. Here we go. Squat down. Hands on the floor. Push. And good job. Did you need me, Millie? You okay? All righty. Okay, now we're going to go to our backwards rolls. So you can do the same thing, okay? If you need your cushion, use it. If you need an incline, then you can put a pillow there to roll over it. So make sure you're using your pizza hands and you're pushing with your hips. Okay, use if you need to use, there you go. I see some people using inclines. If you have a grown up with you, they can lift your hips so that you don't put stress on the back of your neck. But it's really important that you're using your hands and pushing, okay? Use your hands and push. So Millie, you could use your, your stuffy that you're throwing to sit and roll over, like I use my pillow, okay? You wanna try that, so work on your, those are great, Clara, but we want to go backwards. We're doing backwards rolls. So start, when you sit, you go down to pizza hands and roll backwards and lift your hips. Everybody try. You ready? Stand up tall. Roll, lift those toes over your, over your face. <laughs> so, so if you've got a grown-up with you, grown-ups, you want to pick their hips up and lift with their hips. So as they're rolling and, and our, our gymnasts are pushing with their hands by their ears, they're pushing straight and you're lifting their hips up and over. All right, let's see if we can do, just try one more for me, please. And roll one more time. Let's see if everybody can do one more backwards roll. And squat and push. Well, good job. You guys did an awesome job. Let's see Claire's doing one more. Okay. All right. Last thing we're going to do today is we're going to try to do five candlestick holds. And I want you to hold your candlestick for five seconds. Does anybody know what a candlestick is? Oh, Millie does. Okay. We're going to show Millie, can you show us your candlestick? Okay. Show me. Let's see. So you start standing up super tall and you sit and you roll. And where do your legs go? They go straight up to the sky. We want to keep our arms right by our ears. That was a great candlestick. Good job. So you want to go up and you want to try to hold that candlestick up and down. Let's try it again. I can't hold it for a second. I'm not that strong anymore. But let's see if we can hold it for two seconds. You ready? One, two, three, and go. One, two, and come down. Good job. Let's try it again on the count of three. Ready? Here we go. Everybody sit in your tuck. On the count of three, we're going to go. One, two, three. Here we sit. And come down. Good job. All right. Let's do it one more time. You ready? On the count of three. Here we go. One, two, three. Here we go. Sit. And come down. Awesome job. You guys did a great job with that. All right.